Hello again. Um, good news is my dog is alright so far, so good. Uh, we didn't have a very long walk, but um, just needed to walk him around the neighborhood just so he can de stress because the visit today got him very, very terrified. So, yeah. Uh, Everything is good on the other hand. I'm ready to continue to play through from earlier on. And yeah, let's fucking do this because I'm not good in like the beginning talk. Um, I'm just going to talk as things go. Um, anyway, hope everyone's been doing great, having a good afternoon um, or whatever time of day it is for you because... We ha we can have different times a day. Hey, Levishlin, welcome back. <laughs> good to see you, friend. Um, yeah, good news is that dog is okay so far, so good. And yeah, it's so good to, have to see you again. Hello! Right, we were about to jump into a very, um... Yeah, you and me both, to a very nostalgic uh, moment. If you've seen the first film, this is very close to it. Even though it's not technically happening in the first film, it is definitely feeling like it. So, let me just push a button here. Marlo? Who wants to know? My name's Ripley. I'm with the company. Here for your empty box already? You guys are keen, I'll give you that. I'm here for personal reasons. My mother was on the Nostromo when it went missing 15 years ago. You serious? Shit. Well... Shit. We never found her ship, Ripley. Just the recorder. But you sure as hell found something else. What happened out there? I need a way out of here, Ripley. Maybe we can make a deal. Just start talking. I want to know everything. And that's where we're getting into the retrospective. Uh, hope you're doing good yourself. Uh, good to have you back. Yeah, I've tried to sit on the uh, Crystal stream for um, for Shadow of the Tomb Raider, considering it's my favorite game, but... Don't worry, I fall asleep to numerous streams and I don't think anyone would take it personally. I just sometimes I'm so exhausted in the evenings. I could fall asleep so easily. So don't need to be sorry or anything like that. It's it's fine. Okay, enough already. Focus on what we're here for. I don't want any mistakes. Oh, that's the lighting for um, from the ship we arrived. Damn, it's so blurred and foggy, you can't see shit. Visibility is terrible. It's still part of this ship still. Oh goodness, it's large. Yeah, I didn't feel it. It's Ever since they started the reboot games, I just couldn't get into those streams. Um, I don't know. It's too chaotic, it doesn't seem to have any nostalgia about it. They're not even saying anything interesting about the game, just randomly talking about shit. Um, community uh, managers aren't even saying anything about the development of the game, because they're not part of the Eidos Montreal, and obviously they probably didn't bring anyone along, so... I don't know, it's just a playthrough to, to check it off the list, I think. The good ones um, probably ended around the end of LAU era, and and yeah. I do love Shadow as a game, and I think it's the best one of the last three, but I'm not into watching that community stream. I tried to sit in there, but it's not my cup of tea. Wait here. Gonna need a lift. Heist, over here. 
So yeah, I can I can do this, but I'm not gonna be like interested. And it's kind of shameful that they've like brought totally different streamers. Like they they literally didn't want to make. I found a path. Check it out. <laughs> oh, I appreciate it. Um, honestly, I'm going to be playing Shadow tomorrow because it's Tomb Raider Saturday, and I've uh, I finish with. What was I playing last time? On Saturday. I did finish three. Then I jumped into two. I did anniversary, but I didn't finish it. I got like still Atlantis. I don't know. I, I was I was kinda set on doing um Shadow tomorrow to continue to play through, but I don't know. Um I think I'll figure out what I'll feel like playing tomorrow. Um, rather than force myself to play something I don't feel uh, to play. Anyway. Um, this is freaking creepy. I'm not going to lie. It's... To you because I don't see you guys. Let's plant a bomb and make a kaboom. Oof. I don't know. I, I had a feeling that they didn't want to create divisions between Crystal uh, and era and yet they kind of did because the people who are now streaming have never been in, into any of the classic or LAU era streams and vice versa the people who are streaming classics are not t too much involved in the reboot era so they kind of like still made a separation and <laughs> I don't know I think it's kind of bad but I'm just, I'm just nitpicking. I don't know. I've lost the interest. I'm not. I don't think it was intentional, but kind of came out like here. that. Give me a leg up. In my opinion, anyway. Yeah, give me a lift, please. I'm probably going to be sitting here playing this until Lori comes on stream this evening and we raided Lori from Gaming and Confesses. That's no worries. Um, my first Tomb Raider was Tomb Raider 4 and it will still be remain my favourite of all of them um, until the day I die probably and I really doubt that, that any new games are going to be better than that. So, yeah, Tomb Raider 4 was my first, and it will remain my favorite one. So, yeah. That's that's what I feel. Yeah, TR4 is like the queen of Tomb Raiders, all of them, like including everything that has ever been done. It will still be my favorite, my number one, and the best out of all of them. So... It's, there's no even competition to Tomb Raider 4. Then Tomb Raider 1 out of the classics, In if you're asking about the order. Um, Tomb Raider... I don't know, Angel of Darkness, then Tomb Raider 2, Chronicles, and the least favourite will be Tomb Raider 3 out of the classics. Um, Tomb Raider... Underworld will be my favorite of LAU era, and Shadow, obviously, from the reboots. And from the non-core main, non-main games, it will be Lara Croft Go as the favorite um, non-maiden title of Lara Croft series. Lara Croft Go is, is like, it has the most feel and 
connection to Tomb Raider because it's still about riddles and puzzles. It's just a little bit different puzzles, but the way it's been put into, um, it's it's just absolute perfect blend with music, the sounds. It even uses the original sounds from Tier One, like the pistol sounds, Lara grunts. Um, so it's just absolute perfect blend of of everything. And tier one, yeah, I mean tier four is the best, is the biggest nostalgia for me. I'm watching um, Shaky Jakey on his Thursday playthroughs of Tomb Raider series. He's actually now tackling Tomb Raider four. He's in Alexandria doing coastal ruins, catacombs, and I think he finished in the Lost Library. So I've been immensely enjoying how how his reaction changes to through the games as he's punching through one, two. Uh, one gold, two gold, three, and now he's in Tomb Raider 4 and he's absolutely loving the change it, of the direction it, it made. Oh my god. Oh, shit. Careful with what you touch. Oof. I don't want damaged. It's yeah, it's, it's hard to know someone's into something if you're not hanging about with them, but... Maybe you're just being nitpicky, yeah. Can it? We're wasting time. Have a look around. It's a life form. It was a life form. Now it's our property. Salvage rights. Then we'll take what we can and come back. Have a look around. See what else is here. Tracks? Looks like something was dragged. But that's not all. You're not gonna like this. What is it? The tracks lead here. Same name that's on the flight recorder. A Stromo. Someone's already put here. Maybe they abandoned ship and landed here. I can see that. Shit. We found them here before us. Why is that? Yeah. A similar case, um, because my mother decided to uh, dis discourage, I mean, she just signed me out of the normal Catholic religion because <laughs> out of all the stupidities in my country, we do have Catholic religion lessons at school, public school. I know it sounds ridiculous, but we do. Uh, because my mother decided that she's too um, too weak to actually think for herself, she decided to go into her brother's religion. She's a Protestant, and she signed me out of that religion, which caused me to be uh, an outcast at school in my class, because I didn't go for those religion lessons. Um, the end result being I was already an outcast before I realized I was gay, so... Um, yeah, that was uh, something that made me just learn how to be solo all the time, so I just got into it. Uh, that is a very good question. I don't think so. I mean, I, I, I mean, my they did like do the baptize ba baptism in, when I was an infant, which totally to me it's something that should be banned globally you can't decide for an infant which religion it's going to follow so uh shut the fuck up and leave it alone um but yeah if anyone asks me yeah i i was but my parents weren't really practicing catholics it was more like the pressure of my grandmother from my father's side who was like very ultra catholic and she kind of pressured them to you know yeah you got to baptize you got to have baptism and you know all that kind of stuff uh, no, re no logical reason. She was just obsessive about religion herself. And we switch off the beacon, so no one will hear Hello, the distress man. call again. I mean, Poland is technically culturally catholic out of tradition i suppose although you know we do have a lot of pagan traditions which kind of blended in um they're actually more like you know they were born into catholic families so they were kind of following that doctrine and they had a catholic church uh, wedding um 
and they did the baptism. And then my father was not never really a believer, and then he actually very easily just signed out of the church because he he didn't uh, see eye to eye with a lot of people from the local church. So it was like whatever. Um, so the end result being, um, yeah, my parents kind of like moved away. I didn't have any of the later sacraments or anything like that. It was just like. One day, my lovely uncle that has not been seen by anyone for 20 years came back and he brought the good news of Jesus Christ, you know, in, in their Baptist church. Um, and I just like, yeah, it, it kind of like flipped our family upside down since then. My mom kept bringing me to her church um, because of that since then, and my father was very much against it because he thought that I should make belief decisions for myself, which I totally agree um, today. Um, yeah, it, it kind of created unnecessary tensions in our family, but religion is the, the family killer, in my opinion. I think um, religion should be so individual that families should not impose anyone else's beliefs on on family members in any capacity because it's just damaging and destructive um it's you don't have to apologize it, it is i don't i'm not sure if it's a p personal question or not i mean yeah it should be a personal thing in terms of like if you have a belief system you just should keep it to yourself but like talking about that is fine like i, I i'm okay with that I have very strong attitude towards religion in general, so... Yeah, come closer, stupid bitch. That's what you normally do. Yeah, uh, it's 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 a it's an emotional blackmail to be honest. It's forcing anyone's beliefs, and you know, um, it's just not fair when you, um, for instance, my mother used to do the emotional blackmail of uh, whenever I didn't feel like going to church with her on Sundays, and that was the Baptist church. She wouldn't talk to me for a week, so it was emotional blackmail to force me to go there just for for the sake. For the sake of you know having no peace more. and quiet at home, Everything. and not ship? having the if we can break the comms lockdown, what are the codes relationship to fucked up? So if you want more, then you need to get me out of here. Today I can not see this, Marlo. and I can you You're know, right. well, you know where I am. call it for what it was. But Plan B, set it up. Whatever's happening, I want in. Okay, this way. Got something here you'll need. I don't know, it's just... Uh, religion is a... Is a... It's, it's something damaging, really. I, I always view it as something that... Maybe should not be banned, but should be completely removed from the public discussion. It should not be part of public discourse. Just, like, public debate. Let's hope this thing works. It's an animal. Uh, Animals are afraid of fire. Politicians right. should be impartial to religion. Uh, people in public shouldn't express their views. Um, influential people should not disclose their personal personal preference. Fire. Everything uh, should be kept at home behind closed doors. You know, if you want to have a family Christmas, um, then it's it's up to you, and it's fine if you have some sort of traditions, uphold them if if you need them, but. Like, influencing others, imposing that on other people is just wrong in so many levels. I'm glad that ever since I moved out of my parents' place, I'm no longer dependent on them. So I can choose for myself whether I want to pursue a religion direction or belief system or not. And I'm happy with that. Uh, yeah, that's also true. Um... In general, we have technology that should enable us to govern ourselves. Um, you know, 
just a public democratic assembly where people are just deciding um, what they think is best. You know, like a weekly uh, sit up with um, with your co-citizens who decide to take part in it. Um, um, just a periodic assembly, like once a week or once a month, just to sit down and see what's important. Um, have lawyers check up the legislation and, and, you know, if it's not contradicting anything that's already pre-existing and just, you know, we do have technology, we have internet, we have tools to do it, but of course, corporations will try to strong arm politicians, politicians, uh, blackmail other politicians, it's just a big, messy goo, uh, of shit and vomit and... It just stinks, and it drags itself to regions of life that they should never in go into. I've sent your guy Samuels to Android processing. Once this thing's dead, I'm gonna get him to access Apollo and lift the lockdown. Samuels okay doing that? Guy said he wanted to help, and I have my hands full here. Besides, he's a synthetic. Should be easier for him to get in there. Yes. Uh, Poland is the same and I don't think it's isolated to a particular country because people in the UK are facing the same thing with their government and their citizens and same thing goes in America so I don't think it's limited to a particular country uh, we have parties in, in the government which you know have members that claim that you know just today or yesterday uh, someone, some secretary of education said something like, Oh, you know, we should not force uh, medical experiments in people talking about vaccination. And like, woof, you just flown, girl. Stop eating those mushrooms or whatever you're doing because you're embarrassing yourself. It's a big, big mess. Uh, nothing we can do about it, to be honest. And what, 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 what can we do? Like, is this thing gonna work? Where's the elevator? Or should I say tram? You know, the more I talk about politics and stuff, the more I lose the will to live, so I think I'm gonna call it a day in terms of that topic. I play games to escape the reality, not to be concerned by it, so... I'm honestly pretty comfortable being by myself at home, just having my popper around me and, you know, games, TV shows, um, streaming right now, which allows me to vent and basically to relax with something. I, I love it. Um, ever since I got into it, like started watching other people um, and then I got into the streaming thing, I was like... It kind of changed the way I function in general. I, I feel um, a bit more confident in terms of interacting with other people, um, and just generally, uh, I just I just feel a bit better socially. You know, like the social aspect of, you know, the, the Sims have the social interactions bar, which used to go down when you don't when they don't talk to others. Um, so Twitch is kind of like helping me fill that bar. Literally. Communication technologies, tech support services, and Gemini Exoplanet. I'm in the Systex fire. Ripley, heads up. I'm reading lots of malfunctioning systems in your area. Uh oh, I hear the alien. I hear the fucking alien. Yeah, precisely. You can talk to other people, you can interact with them, you can exchange your views, you can change your um, 
experiences and that's absolutely awesome and I love that about Twitch. Why would you switch weapon? Here we go. Open sesame. Ooh, nice. I can create a crap. Oh, hey, Angel Ash. Uh, I actually just had a drink, but I think I'm, I'm pretty fine with drinking another sip of water. And thanks for actually interacting on Discord, I really appreciate it. I wish people did that more often, but I do understand that people have a lot of Discord channels they've already a part of, so... So I'm kind of actually understanding, but I really appreciate when people do interact. Science officer's initial log. I've been installed on board the Nostromo. All the relevant paperwork has been signed, and I have access to the ship's mother 6000 mainframe. Captain Dallas and the executive officer seem put out by my appearance, but that's perhaps to be expected. All that's left is to hope for a productive journey. Off. It's interesting because it's actually every other member of the Nostromo crew uh, actually reprised the roles in the game. So they kind of like all of these logs are recorded by the respective actors who played the actual person, except for Ash, who was played by Ian Holmes. Um, and basically, because he was already very advanced in the age and quite sickly at the time when they were making this game um, they decided to find an impersonator who actually um, knows how to make his accent in his speaking patterns and everything so it is actually an actor who plays him but he impersonates Iron Holmes so well that I thought it was him until I actually learned it wasn't so he did a really good job in, in pretending uh, the actor's voice. Yeah, the original film, actually, the first alien film had uh, Iron Holm, uh, the actor who played Bilbo Baggins in The Lord of the Rings, and so he played, and he played an android, and his voice was supposed to be in this game, but the actor was too elderly at that time. Obviously, now he's dead, but he was alive when the game was made, but he was a bit too sickly and too elderly to actually be able to, you know, even sound like himself. So they took an impersonator who made sure that he was going to sound exactly like Iron Holm. Um, uh, Sigourney Weaver is also reprising her role, and there is a DLC in this game, like an additional two DLCs, which have all the actors actual recreated the way they looked in the first film because it is taking place during the first film um, so you do have all of their voices respectively so you can hear actually uh, the voice of Ellen Ripley the creatures here you heard the lady let's go yeah, John Hurt and the actor who played, uh, I don't remember, one of the two engineers, or maybe both of them. I don't know, that the uh, the, the dark skin, the African-American one, um, basically, I think he passed away, like, last two years or something. Oh, that corpse wasn't here before. I'm guessing it's alien handiwork. Cool. 
God, he's making so much noise in these vents. The creature's here. You need to leave. There's nowhere to go. The mall outside the Marshal Bureau is the safest place. Okay, okay. Thanks. Yeah, Brett. Yeah, that's right. Everywhere is so empty. Right, let's go to the cyst expire. I mean, Cystic Lobby. <laughs> yeah, actually, at the beginning of the game here, there is a hint to the cat. You hear a cat meowing somewhere in in the quarters. You never see it, but wait, the creature. You hear How are we it, gonna seal it in? making a sound. Yeah, totally. The f uh, I mean, I prefer the first film from the second solely because it has a different atmosphere and approach. The second one is more like action oriented rather than being just basing itself on suspense. Uh, it's not a bad movie. I just prefer it. Uh, prefer it a bit more in uh, in the first film than than the second one. Oh my god! I'm gonna kill myself some fish. I'm sorry, I do have a, a small fish tank in my living room. I've been doing a water swap today. Uh, but those stupid fuckers are really pissing me off because... They're little catfish type. Uh, panda Corys, exactly. Um, what the fuck was that? Door closed, but where? And those bloody cheeky bastards have started to, like, swim up to the surface to get a little bit of air and then splash a lot of water outside of the tank. And they're making a lot of mess, and it kind of pisses me off right now. I don't know what the hell is about with that, because they've never done that before. And I think the water is properly oxygenated, like... There is an inflow that splashes the water and and also does the bubbles to the water inside, but for some reason they're just like swimming every few minutes up to the surface, rapidly swimming up and taking a sip of the air because they're actually able to breathe the atmospheric air just like we can, and then they go back to the bottom. But the splash they make is actually splattering all over the place, including the, you know, splashing on the glass and everything, and it's pissing me off so much. I don't know what the hell is wrong with these guys. I've swapped their water, it should be nice and good, and... Ricardo's finalizing the lockdown. You need to close the security doors all around the stairwell. I swear to God, I'm gonna kill myself some fish. I mean, of course I won't, but... Oh, it's that android. Oh, this one's fine, though. He's not bothered. I'm watching these bastards because I have them directly in the line of sight. They're like, I don't know, a meter away from my TV where I'm actually seeing the game. And it's so pissing me off because they're making a mess and I wish they stopped. I don't know what the hell is their problem, really. I honestly don't know. Oh, hello. I, I didn't see you there. Oh my god, he's making so much sound up there. Yeah. 
calm your tits, Amanda. No one, nothing's gonna happen. I'm sorry I'm being very quiet and very, very slow, but oh my god, this is the point I know that he drops out of the vents quite frequently. And I would rather avoid that. Any sound I make will just attract him to go out. The door isn't, isn't really helping. What a useless terminal. Not afraid. Totally not afraid. That was fucking too close. Oh my god, he's gonna come here. Must have heard it. I'm getting out of here. <sighs> oh my god, flies and roaches. Oh my god. It's so disgusting. I was fucking too close. Shit, he's on the other side of that door. Oh my god. Ooh. I didn't see that. I did not see that.
Uh oh. Please go away. Parity, please. I do have a flamethrower, but it's just gonna scare him off and then piss him off. I prefer not to use it unless I'm really desperate. And you know, my advice for playing this game, uh, which has not failed me for the most part, is to avoid the visual contact with the alien as much as you can. Maintenance access shut off. Affirmative, Ripley. Someone's going to be pissed off with that. Yeah, Iron Holm was actually in a lot of films and even as a voice actor. But he was also a good actor in, like physically as in in physical roles. I mean, when he was younger, he was fucking handsome. It actually resembled a friend of mine, in a way, and I'm talking about a friend of mine that I uh, actually haven't spoken for a long time, but um, yeah, he, he, he's fucking hot, and <laughs> yeah, Iron Holm kind of resembled him when he was younger. Uh, you will have no pleasure with me, fuck off, you stupid machine. Computers are useless. Utterly useless. Can I craft something? There you go, now I can collect this. Huh. Perfection. making some room. Uh oh. Who opened that door? Why not ask me about Sebastopol safety protocols? Oh my god. I think the alien is in the vent still, so I think I'm in the clear. Or not? Listen, shut up, stupid game. I know what to do. I'm taking it patiently, for fuck's sake, for once. Fuck this stupid door. Oh, fucking gives me a heart attack. Slowly making our way through. I know this is boring, probably, to watch me sneak like that, but... Mommy! Oh, you can hear me walking on the blood. It's disgusting. Fuck off! Supply storage locked down. Okay. Alrighty then, let's do this. The last place I need to be in.
Oh, thanks, we've lost the light. Lovely. I've completed it, <clears throat> I, I don't know how many times, a lot. Uh oh. I wasn't here. I've completed it a couple of times, um, on every difficulty except for easy. Oh, he's fucking close. Dive, look, dive girl, dive. Oh shit, he's here. Dildo head. Did he go away? Yeah, I finished it on every possible level. I played it on multiple platforms. I remember playing this first when it came out on Xbox 360. Then I played it on PlayStation 3. Uh, then I got it for my PlayStation 4. Um, and then I got it on my Nintendo Switch when it came out in 2019. I think I got it like a year after it came out. Because I wasn't aware it actually came out on Switch. Um... I think the Nintendo Switch version is the best one, visually speaking. It does not have these... You see, like, the poster in front of me. You, you see that the top of it, it has those ugly ridges, like Rise of the Tomb Raider has on every single tree on the PC and PlayStation 4 version. Um, so that is totally gone on Nintendo Switch. I mean, you see the edge of, of everything, but it looks so much better. Oh, hey, Trick, my favorite Scottish streamer extraordinaire. Hello. How are you doing? Have you been at work today? Hey, if anyone wants to see a proper impression of um, Mrs. Doubtfire, Trick is the place. And also, uh, she's punching through the Mass Effect legendary version, like, there's no tomorrow. I think you finished the, the, the first two games in, like, less than a week. Oh, of course, you're still isolating, but you're feeling fine. You don't have any symptoms. It was just your niece that had a little bit of, like, cold symptoms. Yeah, I, I, I totally have to get into them. I, I've been watching them and they're absolutely fascinating. So, um, I love a game that has a rich lore. That's one of the reasons why I'm playing this one because it has such a fucking rich lore. It's, it's just no, like this, no question. But yeah, and Mass Effect seems like an awesome crafted game. All of them, like, they fit together. They seem like they're properly, um, yeah, there you go. Uh, she's a Scottish gamer and she's nailing it. I'm not even kidding. Okay, time to use the terminal. Uh... I just got your query. Yes, I have been in our transmission relay archive and I've done some decrypting. I'm looking for crew logs that passed through Sevastopol a while ago. I know you're concerned, but it's ancient history. It's just some stuff I need to know. A routine company transmission packet sent from the edge of Thetis before a ship. So I already know three people from Scotland. Still. That would be Trick, Angel Ash, and Unsavory Little Woods. I'm not sure if anyone else is actually from Scotland, but I know that you three are. Haha, <laughs> absolutely. Um, 
totally love Scottish streamers. Um, why hasn't it worked? It should open the door. Why hasn't it? Did I do something wrong? Ah, it's been unlocked now. Right, that opens the door into the server farm. Oh, yes, absolutely freaking lootly. I love Scottish streamers. I mean, um mostly watching Trek, but yeah, I know Phobo Baggins now that I think of it from another streamer who's actually turned out to be a streamer and she's also from Scotland, so yeah Yeah, Angel, she's actually starting to get into the streaming. I just learned today that she's doing awesome portraits of pets uh, she actually posted an example on my Discord, and oh my god, oh, Sinizia, hey, thank you for the follow, welcome in, how are you? Good to see you. Uh, Flare, that's definitely going to be useful. And you, Sinizia, are also a streamer, aren't you? I'm not lost, get lost. <laughs> no worries. You were playing Life is Strange. I'm waiting for that remake because I honestly can't get over the aesthetics of the first game, but I'm totally going to do... Um, yeah, I know. I know Sinisia has been raiding you and cheering on your streams on many occasions, so I do know that. I was just not aware that she's aware of my streaming. And she, that she's been here. I really appreciate you've been lurking in my streams before. It really means a lot to me. Trick made you play it. Ah, oh, did she really need to make you do it? Like, she didn't need to put a gun to your head. Like, that game does not need to be made to be played, I think. I'm just kidding. But, yeah. You've never heard of it. Oh my god! But then again, I've told I heard today or yesterday about someone who actually never heard of Tomb Raider, and that's a hard achievement. So you can't <laughs> deny trick anything. I honestly, I wouldn't either. So I'm totally with you. Totally with you on that. I mean, I mean, with the with the limits of reason, with the boundaries of reason. But yeah, pretty much. Pretty much on the same page, uh, page there. Okay, so I'm just gonna bring back the way it was organized before. Can I make this corridor toxic again? Yeah. <laughs> That's fine. You can't help me get out of my way, you stupid android. Oh, I really hate those things. Those bold, spooky bastards. As someone called them in the game, actually. Perfectly accurately, by the way. All of this to go into the canteen like a normal person. Oh yeah, the Streamlabs autom automated notifications are going crazy now. Uh -huh. <laughs> yep. And if you want to play around with the sound alerts, I have a removed of the cooldown on my standard sound command. So you can have fun with them through the stream as much as you can. You can spam them. Uh, no limitation. And they don't use channel points or anything else, so they're free to use. I've recently figured out, thanks to another streamer, I just love a community of streamers helping each other, uh, how to get rid of those stupid cooldowns on the Streamlabs chatbot. Holy 
Mother forking shirt balls. <laughs> uh, my favorite sitcom, the la the the good place. I freaking loved that show. I am absolutely in love with it. Actually, other couple of couple of other sound alerts that are from that show in here. Yep, there is a hello. <laughs> I will always associate it with Trick, but I just absolutely Back love again. that one. And you. <laughs> yeah, it's it's Trick's alter ego, and whenever I hear it, and I hear, I've, and I've heard it on a lot of um, other streamers' sound alerts, like greetings and stuff. But I'm like, oh my god, I'm on Trick stream. But then I look at the stream and it's like, no, that's not Trick. But, but I feel like it's your stream because I've heard, I, I've heard it for the first time on your channel and it, it just drilled itself into my subconsciousness. So whenever I'm hearing that sound, it's always like, oh, look, Trick. <laughs> always like this. And that's not a bad thing. I absolutely love that. It's, it's, it's a you thing. You did it, you've did it so much you, I will always associate it with you. <laughs> <laughs> Every fucking time. Oh, I need to rewatch it. I haven't seen it in a while, and I, I think I need to watch it with fresh eyes. I love the movie, and I love everything that Robin Williams ever did. Um, although, that's not my favourite movie of Robin Williams. I'm not sure if you've seen uh, the film with Robin Williams, The Birdcage, from, like, I don't know, a few years after... Um, I <laughs> dress up myself, but not, but not in the Norman Bates way. Oh my God! <laughs> Birdcage is like my favorite film with Robin Williams. It is a niche film. A lot of people have never heard of its existence, but I think it's a pheno yeah, phenomenal film. That's the best way to describe it. I made you short. <laughs> it's just fucking. <laughs> and. You know, it's absolutely fun phenomenal about that film is that Robin Williams is actually not the most hilarious per person in that film. There's nothing in Los Copa but the cemetery. Oh my god, yes. He's, he just took a toothbrush. Oh my god. Yep. Like, Birdcage is the film, but it's the most hilarious aspect that he's not actually... Nathan Lane is stealing that film, but also... Uh, what's his name? Oh my god, he played in Friends. Oh, I forget his name. Agador Spartacus. What's the actor's name? I keep forgetting his name. I sometimes remember it, but for the most part, I keep forgetting it whenever I need it. Like, I remember his name when I don't need it. Hank Azaria, that's right. Sp Agador Spartacus, he's just freaking... It's just like... <laughs> I've never won any series and like instant uh, oh my god, he's just so fucking adorable and just so ridiculous, so over the top. So you work hard for the money. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I love him. He's just so I don't remember the one liners, I don't think uh I have Agador <laughs> Spartacus, my shoes make me fall down. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, that sounded not like Agador Spartacus walking barefoot on the station. Ah, oh, that's definitely the alien. Damn, I would really prefer to have Agador Spartacus. Yeah, that's... That's just one of my favorite films with Robin Williams. Not for Robin Williams, for a change, actually. Uh, actually, it was my friend who introduced me to that film. And sh we saw it for the first time on a fucking VCR. She has a VCR version of that film. Um, yeah, no worries, Angel Ash. You enjoy your meal. I, go, I hope you have a, a good meal. And I hope to see you back. Yeah, Gene Hackman in a dress. Yeah, and the makeup and the wig. Uh, oh my god. 
Oh my god. It, it's just so iconic right now. <laughs> Gene Hackman in drag. It was just so over the top. I mean, would you... I mean, what's the weirdest part about this film is that it was like in the mid-90s. And like, here in Poland? Whoever I talk to outside of like my inner circle has never freaking heard of that film. So they've never seen Gene Hackman in drag. And I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you people? <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Terence Stamp. Why, how, why do I know Terence Stamp for? I can't remember. I, I'm not very good at all names. Agent Smith. It, oh, you mean... Um, oh, fuck. I'm so bad. Oh, my God. He was in Priscilla, Queen of the Desert? General Zod from Superman? Oh, oh my God. God. Hugo Weaving, that's right. I keep forgetting his name. There's too many actors' names I remember to be able to remember all of them, but. Uh. Oh! Actually, I can craft it now. I have three bombs. See that? Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking kill these fish. <coughs> I'm sorry, but uh, my fish are just going crazy for the past two days. Uh, we actually started yesterday, and they're going bonkers with this. I was just gonna get a sip of air just to breathe, because, I don't know, we don't like the water or something. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with this. What's the problem? I need to see Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. I've never seen it. I always kick my ass for it because I think I should. Yeah, I keep hearing that it's an absolutely awesome film, but I just... I never came around to it. I think I need to, like... Fucking move! <sighs> okay. I live. I think. Eh. Has it gone away? Oh, it's coming here. Okay. She's not here anymore. Oh, he's getting close again. I hate this part. I literally hate this part. 
so hard to navigate in this maze of servers and everything. By the way, this server room could support like an entire city, but... Ooh, you're getting too close for my taste. Go away! No! Get the fuck away! Get the fuck away. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the alien is terrified that your logging has a containment breach. Oh, stupid android. Yeah, and it's definitely going to tell you what is it. Oh great, there's another vent. Oh my god, there's so many vents in here, I don't like it. Too many alien, for my taste. In this bloody place. Stun baton charge. Oh, okay, I'll take it. Very freaking too close for my taste. Go away. Okay, left and up. Oh shit. That's too fucking close. They're not gonna get me. The door's closed. <sighs> That's why you fucking need those overrides in these doors. Oh. Fuck. Oh, I'm starting to be nervous right now because I'm so fucking close to my goal in this particular section and I am starting to be a bit nervous. Not sweating, but nervous. Okay. I think... I think... It's gone. Oh, Set Panda, welcome! How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you, friend. Sorry I'm, I'm not a stream cam today, but I'm not feeling a particular stream cam today, so just my regular voice. Um just as much as I feel like showing today. How are you doing? How's you? How's life for you? For fuck's sake, these fish, I'm going to fucking put them in a jar. I'm sorry, I'm starting to be really pissed. <laughs> These annoying fishes are making splatters. So much fuss. What is the problem? I don't know. I don't. I don't fucking know. But it's slightly annoying. Just only ever slightly. Little tired. Starting work. Oof. To me, it's a Friday evening, so starting work sounds terrible, terribly painful. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm having a day off, just like yesterday was a bank holiday. I'm actually uh, having a day in lieu for the last Saturday, so... Um, luckily having a four-day weekend, and so... Having this, you know, playing my fav one of my favorite games. Which is Alien Isolation, which normally gets me relaxed because I really love roaming the interiors of this station, even though it's falling apart and everything. I just feel like like home here, really. I know it sounds terrible, like I'm, there must be something wrong with me, but 
Um, but I totally love hanging about the station. Uh, also, uh, quite a hint. Uh, Sam Panda here is also a streamer, and he's been doing death and taxes last time. And also sometimes doing Lego stuff and, and other things, so highly recommend dropping a follow. You know, I'm just saying, just so it's out there. Can these fucking aliens just sit in the vent for like five minutes? Is it too fucking hard? Is it too fucking hard to be in a fucking vent? Just a little bit. I'm not asking for an hour. I just need five minutes of the alien in the vent. Oh. oh this thing. There we go. Move. <gasps> More Lego. Oh my god. I want to see that. I'm totally thinking about acquiring an external camera so I can actually do stuff like art because I can't I, I can't draw that that's an, a bit overstatement but okay let's say I can occasionally draw and I haven't d been doing that for too long and I need to buy some Lego to do so that's that might be a thing as well because I freaking love Lego and I just started two years ago to buy some stuff. I just have two sets right now because all of the stuff I had as a kid was kind of like completely ruined but uh, I'm definitely because my new job can actually support that kind of stuff like buying things you know outside of just living barely so uh, I'm thinking about actually going for buying some Lego sets I was wanted and you know doing them on stream and those would be fucking long streams because as I when I sit to a fucking thing, like a Lego, uh, I I'm not leaving it leaving it until I'm actually done. So, last time it actually took me from. Oh, I don't know. Six seven hours. Lego is super fun and uh, like. I don't fucking care if people think that Lego is for kids. I mean, it's not, because there are some adult sets as well. Lego Technics, Lego Architecture, it's branched out so far and so wide. And, you know, the, my favorite sets that I have, like the Lego Flintstones, the, the little house, and uh, Lego Friends from the Friends TV show, so <laughs> I fucking love it. Uh, I'm having the set that actually features the cafe, but I also heard that they will publish, or maybe they already have published. Um, it is a bloody expensive. That's why I just couldn't get into it for too much because I didn't earn enough. But that's about to change with my new job. Yeah, and uh, there is another Friends TV show um, set that actually set in the apartment. I'm not sure if it has both apartments or just the one. Mm, but I definitely did have a hallway, so I'm looking forward to getting that. I have no room to put them, so I will have to figure out new places to put them around. Probably I will, I don't know, make some shelves on the walls or something. Um... I'm like totally into into getting stuff that is connected to the franchises I like. I'm really shame. It's a real shame that there are no official Star Trek Lego sets. I'm pleased I haven't seen any because I would dig those very much. Oh my God! It's right here. Did it fucking go away? And it went to the fucking vent. Good. Uh, but first things first, um, probably this month I'll buy myself a, a little Gato stream deck. Because I freaking need that so fucking much. I've always wanted to be able to 
transition because the problem is when I'm streaming a classic Tomb Raider game it will overtake my main screen and I don't have my cursor up and it's bugging me because I can't mute myself I can change do the transitions normally my I figure out a workaround and I have an app that actually works as a stream deck but it's so fucking uncomfortable it pisses me off because uh, I have to scroll because there's too many buttons. Every single thing has a separate button even though I don't need it. I can't hide things. It's just super counterintuitive. So the first thing I'm buying for my new salary is a stream deck because I freaking need it. Um, so there will be new sounds, uh, new sound tunes that will be playing in the background, disconnected from the sound alerts from the chat bar. Uh, so I'm slowly getting to a point where I'm actually be able to broadcast the way I want to. I will definitely also need to upgrade my laptop, probably an SSD is in order, and that's probably going to be sometime this year. So yeah, I have plans. Um... It's just a matter of getting the first payout uh, and the subsequent ones. Um, luckily, my company also pays for the equipment I can buy for myself at home, so I don't need to worry about, you know, needing to buy stuff for my home office. So that will be covered by the company. Um, so it's quite good. How did you open it back up? He flipped the switch. How else? Where should I go? Take the elevator to Gemini Labs. If it follows, we can still trap it there. Ripley, Ricardo, we can't let it escape again, no matter what. What's that noise? Yeah, go investigate. I'm just gonna work around you. And a little lock. And the alien will pick you up. I think I'm gonna go somewhere where it's safer. I'm wondering where the music went because actually I didn't hear any music for a bit while. Oh, someone left some alcohol here. Thank you, whoever you were. By the way, this is exactly where I've just been. This is the server found. Hey, Vadim. Um, enjoy your coffee and thank you for the luck. Uh, I hope you're doing good. I'm not calling you out too much, so if you feel like lurking, that's absolutely fine. Uh oh. That's too fucking close. My good, he's out and about. What the fuck was that? Why was she screaming? Okay, okay. Oh shit. Mommy, I'm a bit scared. Oh god. I will fucking use the flamethrower if you don't go away. Oh, fuck me. No, don't come here. Fuck off. I will fuck you piece of shit. Stupid piece of shit. That was not fair. I... S oh. I fucking hate this stupid alien. And the feeling is mutual, by the way. Oh god, what a waste of time. What do I need to do now? Oh. 
Escape the server hub. So like, oh uh, yeah, so I at least I saved shortly before I got here, so shortly I left here, shortly after I left this place, so we're Gucci as as a friend streamer tends to say, we're Gucci. You just need to go over there, you know, it's not bad. Stupid son of a bitch. By the way, did you do you you do know that the alien is actually a Disney princess now? How did you open it back up? I had to suppress the alert. It was the only way to get Ripley out. You let it out? We had it locked down and you let it out? Ripley, it's still on your tail. Where should I go? Yeah, Disney obtained Fox. 20th Century Fox. So technically, the Alien franchise belongs to Disney now. We can't let it escape again, no matter what. What is that noise? So technically, the Alien is a Disney princess now. Uh oh. Ooh, this is gonna be hairy. Actually, no, not hairy because the Alien does not have hair. Yeah, so the alien is actually a Disney princess now. Oh shit. Human. Human. Fuck off, Ryan! Run, bitch, run! Okay. Okay. Okay, we're safe here, I hope. Ugh, oh, plasma torch, for fuck's sake. It's game sometimes. Get the fuck away! No one likes you, you're ugly! Now I have something to come to think of it, it could be easy remade to a fairy tale. It's trying to kiss someone so it won't be a monster anymore. You know, old fashioned 1930s. I could totally see that. What was that about? Okay, maybe I should not go right side. Oh, stupid fucker. Stupid evil fucker. Oh shit. Christ. Fuck off. Oh, I fucking hate this. Yeah, you said it, Amanda. Oh. Fuck you, you stupid beast. By the way, this is the first time it actually have seen me. Oh no, they can see me now. Oh no. That's gonna be bad. Okay, we're alive. We're alive. I think. I think. Phew. Oh, that was a fucking loud stomp. Oh, mommy. Can you go hunt the people who are actually in the in behind the glass window? Because I need to go there. I need you to clean that up. Fuck you. Yeah, no one's afraid of you anymore. Oh shit. How is it that it doesn't hear them running, but it will hear me ever since I will start... I will do one running step. That's just not fair. That's just cheating. The game doesn't like me. I, I think the game might be biased against me, you know. I do have a slight suspicion that the game is rigged against the player. Just itty bitty.
Although, to be fair, it's not as rigged here as it would have been on a nightmare mode, so it could have been worse. Totally could have been worse. Oh, just go fucking away. I don't like you. No one likes you, actually. Maybe your own monster mother does. What am I searching? I am searching a wall. Oh, that bitch is still there. That's not fair. Go away. Yeah. Both of you investigate that. Monster mother. Well, you know, alien's mother is a... You know that Disney princess statement is actually not wrong? The parent of the alien is actually the queen, so technically it's all fine, so... Disney or not, the alien is actually still a princess or a prince. I'm still leaning towards the princess because, you know, the wokeness and stuff, but it has never been determined what sex or gender, should I say, is the alien, so. I know, right? It's adorable, actually. And considering the alien mother is the queen, it's it just perfectly fits whether it's Disney or not. It's still a princess. The question remains whether it's a Disney princess or just a princess. Alien daddy, oh my god. <laughs> you know, that's actually hilarious. Yeah, that's true. They might be agendered except for the queen, which is a female. Totally can be a thing. Also, the queen can be a male, you know, because that's a name, like Cher. Has no connotations to a gender. You never actually know. Yeah, I think it was suggested that they're like bees, in a way. Where is that bitch? There she is. I'm kind of like pissed off that she's still there, but... Can you believe that she didn't see that flying? She only sees that when it lands. These humans are like retarded. They are literally a retarded level of stupid. Yeah, you investigated all you want. Just lay off me. I could run, but running usually is a bad call, so... I'm just surprised that the alien is not investigating all the disturbances I'm causing, like throwing flares, noisemakers, and all that stuff, but that's fine. I'll live without that. Oh, there's a human there. Gladly he didn't see me and I'm getting into the elevator, so fuck them. Fuck them, I'm not interested. Phew! Phew! Oh. And voila! Made it! I can't even type my own sound commands. You know, you know I need a stream deck when I can't even type the way I should. Oh. Ooh, now comes more stealth and more sneaking. I'm in Gemini waits. We need that whole facility powered up. There's a freight elevator you'll need to take, but ever since Season pulled funding from Gemini, it's been out of action. Ah, oh, look at the poor baby just lying in the puddle of his own blood. Serves you right, bitch. I hate these androids. I really hate them. I wish them all the worst. Hmm, this is closed. Well, the only open door is over here, so let's do it. <sighs> this looks like fun. Your head together. Oh, hello.
No, she's not aggressive. She doesn't have weapons. Good to see a friendly face. All right. She just likes to chill here in the waiting room before. What again is this place? Gemini Exo Solutions. Exoplanet like Solutions. Oh, honey, I've been through mill and back. And it's not even half the game. Find the control terminal they left for the synthetic caretaker. It's in a storeroom up ahead. And for God's sake, do it quietly. And for God's sake, shut the fuck up. Because I kind of learned that I need to be very, 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 very quiet. Because, uh, the rabbit is hunting me. I'm being hunted by the rabbit. Oh, for fuck's sake, that always scares the fuck out of me. Stupid thing. <sighs> I actually didn't hear it for a while, so that was from memory. I haven't seen a proper Bugs Bunny cartoon for a long, long time. I should do that, because I totally love them. They are the thing I actually am thankful for learning English, because... When I was a kid, before the school and all, um, I was just religiously watching Cartoon Network, which was not translated, so... It's all the Cartoon Network stuff that I watched as a kid that taught me how to speak English, or to understand it. The accent came later, but yeah, the basic, basic understanding of English was actually from all the cartoons I watched as a kid. Bugs Bunny, The Jetsons, Scooby-Doo, uh, and I mean from the 70s, you know, the old stuff, the, the old school, um, the Flintstones, Dexter's Laboratory, the first ones, the original Powerpuff Girls, um, Cow and Chicken, uh, Two Stupid Dogs, God, I've seen so many of those. Ed, Ed and Eddie, that was ridiculously stupid, but I loved it. I loved every single one of them. Oh my god, so much glass on the floor. No, it's gonna hear me. Oh no, not this again. Not these stupid, stupid fucking cameras. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck, 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 go away, go away, stop, 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 stop. Oh, made it. I can shut you the hell off. Why does it jump between the thing I choose to the one I don't want to choose? That's just rude. Oh, plasma torch upgrade. Goody. Oh, I love that tune. It's from the first film, actually. Yeah, the cutting is now faster. Uh-oh. Where is that? Ah, bless him for arriving with food. You're excused. I mean, you can all go as come and go as you please. It's not obligatory to be here, but I do appreciate that you uh, that you want to come back. Yeah, no worries. I mean, I was hoping to do a longer stream, but I might need to pop out for a little bit with my popper, so I might do like a 10-15 minute break. Oh my god, the android and the alien. Oh my fucking god, don't! Tada, Mish. Co chciałeś? Co dziecko chciało? No! No, I don't need you here. I fucking can't see shit here. Oh god, this is chaotic. Chaotic. Okay, I can see something. <sighs> Fuck, this alien is just too fucking close. Yeah, no worries. I mean, I was hoping to go until actually Laurie Gaming Monthly Investors goes live, so maybe I can write, rate her for a change, but... 
Uh, I'm not sure if my pupper will not want to walk because actually he got so stressed out on the revisit on the checkup that he didn't want to go for a, for a long walk afterwards and he just did some pee and nothing else so he was freaking terrified. I mean I can't blame him he got a painful shot in the bum and two filthy nasty huge sized pills for his stomach that unfortunately had to be he had to be force fed with them because oh he will never eat them he's a bad boy in terms of taking medicine I mean you know when they prescribe like a human medicine like the mild stuff that the dogs can actually take he's fine because you will not smell them because they usually don't have any smell the problem starts with the dedicated animal medicine that Oh, some stupid idiot producer, decide, manufacturer, decided, Ooh, let's make them smell like meat so they will be tasty and easy to, d to give them. And I'm like, my dog is like, are you fucking stupid? I can sense, smell this thing isn't a real meat, so whatever this is, get the fuck out. He doesn't eat that, he doesn't want that. So, I can't administer those kinds of meds to him. And I have no means of actually force feeding that to him, so I can't give it to him forcibly into his throat so um the only thing i can do is to give him normal stuff but not all normal human stuff is actually going to work with him so check request in sector c12 received and it's kind of getting difficult and because you had to force feed him now he was terrified of her and he was so afraid that he was actually too afraid to actually do number one and number two properly he was just, just to it like stop for a moment to pee and then he immediately returned home because that was it so he kind of didn't do number two and <laughs> so we might actually want that but we're gonna see if he's gonna be like alerting me then I'll just take a short break and go out with him. It won't. I don't think it will require too much time at this time of day or night. I mean, it's already dark and it's already 8 p.m. So, okay, that's what I needed to do. Where can I find the power breakers' weights? I see one in the analysis labs. The others in the decontamination room. Uh. Uh. Fuck all this glass. You can't even avoid it because there's water and all of this is floating in that water. Ugh. Oh, he's so he's so coming. Oh shit, another camera. Those cameras are a cancer. I ain't gonna lie, I dislike them genuinely. They make noise which I really don't appreciate. Faster, you stupid system, faster. Okay, done it. Camera shut off. Oh, he's getting nervous. And the alien starts to be agitated. I can't say I like that. Because when he's agitated, he, he tends to roam the place more intensively. And I don't care much for that. Oh, shit. Yep. Oh, fuck. Oh, 
Hit the fucking button. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Open up, open up, climb in. Oh god. Oh god, my heart is pounding like insane. Oh fuck, that was such a close one. Oh. Get in the fucking vent, you piece of shit. Oh, fuck. Climb! Climb, bitch! Fuck! Fuck! Please open up, open up! Open up! Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! The music isn't helping, really. The music is not one bit helping. It's actually making this worse. Way, way worse. Because if I could just only base myself on the sounds, it would have been fine because that bloody bastard is just making noise in the vans, but the music is like suggesting it's coming for you and it's making it so fucking worse. Oh god. Ooh, I like the adrenaline, but fuck me, sometimes this game is just woof. Keeping you on your toes on the edge of your seat. Oh, save, 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 save. Please, save. Oh. <sighs> Made it. Right, the second button is up there, but... Do I want to go there immediately? Oh. Dilemmas, dilemmas. What should I do? <sighs> oh, for fuck's sake. Always at max capacity. Oh, I'm really at max capacity. Not the revolver, bitch. Oh, I can hear it on the camera. Yeah, there's another fucking camera there. Fuck those stupid cameras. Uh, nope, that's too close. Too short time. Passcode, fuck you. Oh, I think he's directly above me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Two, seven, four, three. Okay. Iron torch. Fuck you, game. You're being an asshole now. Oh, God. Goodness gracious. 
No. Don't get out of the fucking vent. Don't. Oof. Oh, goodness me. The alien is after me. Oh, fuck you. He had to come out now. Nope, this music isn't helping one bit. Getting really scared here. Can you go to the fucking vent and stay there, please? <sighs> is he desperate or something? Why does he keep popping in and out of the vents? There's no reason for that. I think he's growing desperate. <laughs> It's best all because he can't get a, even a glimpse of me. I'm sorry, Mr. Alien, but I know you know. Hide and seek has certain rules, and I just I'm just obeying those rules. God, the camera's going away. I'm going to fucking move because fuck it. Fuck you! Okay, we're getting close to the way out. By the way, props for the actually ability to hit the padlock or the wrench tool in such a way that it actually breaks it instead of like I don't know just twisting the metal Ripley is badass she's punching through this like like a pro which she is because I think she's an engineer her mother was like a science officer but we're just a general officer but She's a badass. Yuki. An outpost to fucking what? The place is falling apart. There is a fucking alien and it says progress? These androids are literally stupid. They're retardedly level stupid. They're just automatons that do what they're programmed to. There's no intelligence there. Just blindly following programming and nothing else. I don't think they've even been scripted to certain things that are happening on this station. They don't know they don't know how to react. Oh, this is an asshole thing, actually. If you look at here, there is an android just waiting to kill you as soon as you'll be walking around this place. And whatever happens, uh, it grabs you as soon as you turn your back, unless you did this.
Yeah, just shot the the android in the head. Look at the alien now. He didn't expect a shot to be fired here. He's like trying to figure out what the fuck it was. Where it was from? What the hell was the sound? He's walking around the last place the sound was originating from. And he's having a hard time grasping what the hell happened exactly because it wasn't aimed at him. There are no other humans. He's like, what the fuck? What caused the disturbance? What has transpired here? Love that he's completely confused and investigating. If he could, he could probably just get in here, but I don't think he can. And he's walking around, trying to figure out what the hell caused the disturbance. Making creepy sounds, you know, to scare off the cause. Yeah, there you go. And just like that, just went off. You see, after a very thorough search of the area, if his investigation is inconclusive, does not return any results, no one running away skittish, terrified of his presence, then he's returning to his normal search cycle. So he's just resuming what he was doing before. He's right above me, so the music is like, Ooh, you should die now. <laughs> You're about to die, but yeah, it's actually not. It's, the music is deceiving. It sometimes bugs. So the music is playing that when your allies are around, which makes zero sense. Like the humans that are cooperating with you are causing this music to go bonkers like that. So it's really terrifying, but also very unnecessary and confusing. I doubt it was deliberate. I think it's something they didn't anticipate. I think, I think this android is actually good. I mean, it doesn't want to kill me, but... Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, right. Okay, I think we're done. I mean, we need to do something more, but we're done in terms of waiting for the android to do what he was called for to do. Enough with this scary music. Yeah, that's what I meant when I said the game kind kind of bugs the music out. I actually reset the music. To, I mean, not the music, but. The power. You're headed for a place called Project KG348. Let me know when you're there. Ooh, 
I hear a sound point. I mean, the sound of the safe point. I think. Shit. <sighs> fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, goodness me. Oh, goodness me. Just gonna sit here for a while. Okay, so that all oh, is it, has it gone back to its Uh oh. No. Go away. Okay. Damn. It's a close one. Thing behind me. Fuck. You piece of shit. You fucking piece of shit. I'm not gonna let you do this. Oh, you fucking piece of shit. Fucking piece of shit. Stupid fucking. Oh. Oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank God I saved. After I killed the android, so it's no longer an issue for me. By the way, you did have something useful, didn't you? Yeah, you did. Good. Fuck. So close. Maintenance check request in sector C12. Received and confirmed. A service caretaker is on its way. Services do not meet Sikhs and standards. Please log a complaint. Okay, let's go to the next one. Hello. Fuck, he's right behind me. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Why? How? When? 
For what purpose? Oh my god. How did he run here so fast? Shit, I can't see a thing. Uh, come on, we're just right next to where I need to be. Push the button, push the button. Oh, made it. Nailed it. Oh yeah, phew, that was a really close one, I'm not going to lie, when, when he got me last time I was like, ooh, he's going to be on my ass for the next 10 hours, but yeah, using that noisemaker actually saved my ass, literally saved my ass from, well, getting another hole. Is it still after you? Yeah, I'm sure I it is. So. I got a plan, head for the labs. Lovely. Waits has a plan. I love Waits' plans. They're just always so unthreatening to my life. And overall security of the station, right? Hey, Lens Operative. Welcome in. Finally you managed to get me when I'm actually not ending a stream today. I'm sorry about the last time, but I was like totally needed to, to go with the pupper uh, for a checkup. It wasn't anything serious. It was just a checkup after the initial visit from... <laughs> you shot him after he was already dead. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, Waits is a prick, and he totally deserved to be shot in the prick. Yeah, Popper's good. I mean, he's been in the checkup. The meds have actually worked, and they've actually put him back together in terms of, like, you know, di digestion. So, yeah, we're fine. He was just... He got so stressed on the visit. Poor boy. Poor baby. Um fluff um, that he actually cancelled the walk I wanted to walk with him at least for an hour or something but he was like no daddy we're going back home me very scared I want to go home and I was like yeah okay yeah, fine yeah he, he it's because what they did to him last time was two things he doesn't like a painful shot in the bum he really showed his teeth back then and, you know, he's a totally docile creature that is totally incapable of aggression. So, when he's actually showing his teeth, it means he really, really, really is afraid, basically. And that's the only time when he actually will show any signs of anything other than being a petulant QD that wants petting and scratches. Uh, yeah, I mean, I can't blame him. Painful shots are not a pleasant thing. Actually, he got around it but he you know he, he's a large dog and those thermometers aren't that much of a big deal because they're not that large so I don't think he's bothered with them too much anymore because he kind of realized that it's nothing hurting um but yeah generally he used to react to the to the temperature checks but for some time he actually stopped doing that he stopped reacting he's just cautiously waiting for this finish off but the problem is um, um yeah another thing that they did to him was actually they needed to give him a, a pill that's going to set his stomach and his bowels to normal motion you know something that's going to loosen up the tense muscles and everything in there, so they had to like force feed them those med pipe, but those two large, significantly large pills because um, he would need them. Because whoever manufactures them does not apparently have a brain, and they imagine that oh, we're gonna make a, a healthy pill that also smells like meat. And I'm like, yeah, how are you going to incorporate an authentic meat smell into a pill? I mean, that's not possible. It's going to be artificial. And an intelligent dog is going to pick that up. 
well, obviously my dog is very intelligent and he thinks that he's actually smarter than we are because he's not actually eating it. You know, he will never touch anything that has even touched that fucking pill. For God's sake, he could smell narcotics and stuff because he can totally smell even a pinch of that pill inside his food. And I'm talking not eating the entire bowl of food because it was touched by remains of that pill. So... I told her that I'm not going to give it to him because he's not going to eat it. I, I could put it in a sausage, I could put it in, in a hot dog. He will eat everything around the pill, if anything, and he will not fucking touch it. So, I'm sorry, someone needs to tell the manufacturer that you're making pills that have an artificial meat smell is not exactly impressive achievement. Uh, but there we are. So she's just like, okay, so maybe we'll try to give him give those pills now. And that was on on Wednesday. Oh, hey, Frederico. Hey, how are you? So she basically forced hit those two pills down his throat, like opening his maw and putting it down his throat. So he was like not liking it very much. And she did that twice in the same visit. So today he was like, oh, I'm not even coming up to this lady. She she does mean things. So it was not a very good thing. The game's awesome. I love it. Uh, I'm actually going to be ejected into space in a moment with the alien. Oof, he's got been treated nasty. Oof. Oh, oh. Flamethrower fuel. You can never have too much of that. Surprisingly, the aliens stopped being interested in me, which is kind of suspicious. I feel, find it kind of sus. More flamethrower fuel. Yes, please. Um, I actually said that in the wrong hour because I think he's coming. Oh my... God, that stupid robot toy. Six an executive ransom here. I'm sending over some samples for investigation. I want the minimum number of employees on this. Keep By the way, don't ever pick up that flamethrower. Um, ammo, sure because it fucking triggers an point. explosion that brings in there the alien. Uh, yeah, it's in my top favorites as well. I, I could play it for like for all time. It's one of my few top games I could play um, all the time. I'm playing it on hard, so I didn't want to go for the asshole mode. I promised myself that after doing Nightmare Mode, I'm never touching it again, and I'm keeping up to that because I remember what an asshole mode the Nightmare Mode is, and I've completed it once, and that's enough for me. I'm satisfied with actually doing it once, uh, and I'm never touching it again because that that difficulty can fucking kiss my ass. It can suck a bag of dicks. I am not amused. Noise detection. Oh my god. You were insane. I would have never. I mean, I once had it on because it was in, on. Like, I thought it's something different than it actually was. And I left it on. And then the game actually taught me what the hell is it. And I was not amused because my cat actually sold me out. Because he came into the room and he kept meowing for no apparent reason as a typical cat does. And basically the alien heard it and he came for me and I was like wait, wait how I, I was quiet why did and then I realized it's a fucking sound from your fucking microphone and I'm like nope that ain't happening on my playthrough and I never used it once again <laughs> yeah yeah you will be able to speak to chat much so I just like fuck it but no oh no That's not normal. He never comes here. Play this game myriads of times and he never approaches this door. Why the fuck is he here? <sighs> what, you were streaming that game on 
the noise detection. Oh my god, you're a masochist. Is there a world record to be set? Yeah. Fluffy does what he wants, that's true. Or should I say Mr. Tinkles, you know? Mr. Tinkles, where are you? <laughs> There's no food for you here. We've run out. You need to find some. Fetch. Ugh. Come on, be a good boy, Mr. Tinkles, and go into the vent and stay there for like. He wants hugs and kisses. I want a dead. Mm, I don't. Th I think we have a mismatch here. You know. We may have a mismatching targets here, like expectations from this relationship. Yeah. By the way, this place is freaking creepy. Why is there a light wandering about exactly? Where's that light source coming from, actually? Oh my god, it's so fucking dark in here. Oh, huh. the ex exterior of the station. Wonderful. Yeah, this place, yeah, it's, it's, an, it's a special kind of nasty to the player. He just kiss, kicks you in the nuts and punches you in the throat. Kinda nasty. Totally nasty place. Oh. Fluffy can suck a bag of dicks for what I care. I just want it out of my way. Yeah, an android trap is waiting. Just waiting for me to approach and then turn my back. <laughs> Look, I'm fooling for that one. No, I'm afraid you're wrong. <laughs> right. Is this what happens? Nope. I'm not falling for the glass trick. Oh, by the way, this looks nice. So that's the gas giant, and that's another planet? Plans for the weekend? Well, I'm continuing. This is the second day of my weekend today. Um, having day two days off because of bank holiday here in Poland. And the bank holiday was on Saturday, which is a holiday which I get a day in new, so... We took it today, and meaning I just go back to work on Monday. So yeah, I have a four-day weekend. Uh, plans: streaming, playing games, chilling, eating good food. Today I had a huge pizza. I still have two pieces. They're nicely maturing next to me, so I might munch on them on the, uh, after I'm done streaming. Blasting cab. Uh, so tomorrow plan is for a little bit of Tomb Raider. Uh, San Sunday, I'm I'm like tilting between continuing this and maybe playing a Tomb Raider level editor game made by, made by one of our community members. Um, because I want to play some. Some of that I made a, a New Year's resolution to, you know, give more um, stage light to our community members who are actually making new tim classic Tomb Raider levels using the old Tomb Raider engine that has been released uh, in two in two thousand and has been heavily modified by the fan base. So I'm looking forward to Sunday because either way there will be something fun played. Okay.
Oh yeah, the running alert in the background is nice. That sun is definitely too close for my taste. Well, boohoo you. Fluffy bunnies, yeah. I've heard it being named so many different names. I, I, I tend to watch other people play this game on occasion when I'm just chilling. And I love what people name it. Like, of course, one of the most common ones is you stupid motherfucker, but um, I've heard a lot of different names. And Trick suggested to call it Betty next time, so... <laughs> Betty's after me, oh no! That's gonna be hilarious, I can't wait to watch it. <laughs> okay, we're done here. Um, yeah, I think we're ready to initiate the launch sequence, so to speak. Oh, there we are. Uh, piglet face, strange face, car, and the three. I don't know, I just make up names for those objects. Uh oh. Shut up. I get his too, you know. This is almost like a boss fight, really. Yeah, good boy. Fetch. <laughs> nice. No! Nice. Can you imagine, like, being in a situation like this when they use you as a fucking bait to eject you into the fucking space? Like, he could have waited, like, three seconds, or, like, even two, and she would have made it, but he was so adamant of making sure that the alien stays... ...that it stays in place in, in, in the pod. Yeah, which I would brown my pants. I would literally brown my pants. Yeah, he could totally give you two more seconds and it would have been fine, but the asshole had to make sure that you'll be in there so actually the alien stays in there in case it would like to escape. Because I believe this place was still connected via the ventilation network because it totally seemed like it because the alien was already here when I approached this room so he totally could just anticipate my moves and be here before me so it had to be connected so there was a risk that the alien could escape before me just as well so I guess oh my god can you imagine this view outside oh my god this looks amazing actually you know, if I could just disable the alien for like a minute or two, I would just love to sit and watch the view, but... Yeah, I'm kind of impressed for time to fucking leave this dreadful place. Ah, there he is. But that view outside with everything rotating, it's just incredible. I mean, it looks real. They really made this game so it's believable to... The full extent, you know, the light is correct, the view outside, the stars, and you can totally see all this. Yeah, good boy, stay out there. Fuck. Oh, for fuck's sake, can you just go away?
now I'm panting like my dog, but I'm so fucking scared that it's just gonna come after me. Ooh, you're getting close. I don't know where the hell is he. I'm not pick. I'm not. I'm. I hope you've noticed that I'm not using my noise, like my detector. I, I'm not using it because on hard difficulty. The alien hears it pretty well and can pinpoint your location quite easily. The more you use it, the worse it is. Okay. Okay. Nope. Oh, fuck. Get the fuck out. Go away. Get into the vent. He's directly above me now. He's interested at the door. He knows something opened. Oh, that motherfucker. Ooh, sounds like something I had to die. Well, enjoy your double... Homemade pepperoni with double cheese. Yeah, I had pizza today as well. It was with actually double pepperoni, salami, some sausages, paprika, onion, uh, God knows what. It was full of everything, and I still have two slices. Yes, he's out. He's off my path. Haha, <laughs> made it. <laughs> Made it. <sighs> Fuck, that was intense. That's fucking intense. Wow, cooking school, you made your own pizza. Respect, man. I respect that. I hope you enjoy your pizza then. <laughs> it's been good seeing you. God, I made it. I fucking made it. No more alien for at least next few moments. <sighs> fudge. Oh, fudge. Can you imagine the, st f the physical strain she went through? Crikey. She, this woman is made of iron. She's her mother's daughter. Totally Ellen Ripley's daughter. I mean, we know what Ellen Ripley has gone through, through the years, through the movies. My God, she's her mother's daughter. Totally her genes. <laughs> uh, she's, she's badass, just like, just like Ellen. And you know what? You don't care about the father. You don't even care if she was like married or was it like one time, one night stand because she was like disposing man like gloves or something. You don't know anything about Ellen Ripley's background, like how she came to have a daughter. She didn't even mention having a daughter in the first film. She was so close to herself and that was amazing uh, element to explore in the second film. And then she kind of clinged to Newt because she was kind of like her daughter. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Ripley, is that you? Yes, wait. Me, you son of a bitch. <laughs> you locked me in. You blew the lab into space. I had no choice. No choice at all. You saw that thing. You saw what it could do. I had to get it off the station. By any means necessary. Yeah. Use me as bait. <laughs> I mean to die. And it goddamn worked, Ripley. It goddamn worked. I got that thing. Jettisoned it into the gas giant. The station's safe. There's that. And there's the fact that you're a heartless bastard. <laughs> heartless bastard. We can discuss your methods there. Oh my god, I love the actress who plays Amanda Ripley. She is... She's nailing it. 
Like, you can feel that she's strained, she's exhausted, but she's still got some, you know, energy to kick Waits' ass. And he is a heartless bastard. Like, who in the right mind places explosives on a space station, for Christ's sake? And volatile explosives, to say the least. We've seen what he fucking did in the medical section. He's an insane f motherfucker, and he really deserves what's coming to him. There's that. And then there's the fact that you're a heartless bastard. Oh my god, she delivers that line just... Oh, I really love her. Amanda Replay, she got one game and she's fucking better than the three Tomb Raider games in the last decade or so. <laughs> oh my god, that's just so, so weird. I wish they continued this game. I wish they, I wish they made a sequel. They left an open ending. It can be picked up. The actress is fine. Let's 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 fucking go. Do another game. Bring the team back. Do the fucking sequel. This game needs a sequel. They can polish the elements that people didn't like. And make it just perfection of a game. But no. Camcom doesn't care. Such a fucking waste. Oh, thank you for the card. Nice hole in the head. Perfect aim. Not sure if it was you or someone just posed you as dead. You can expect everything on this fucked up station, that's for sure. Here we go. Nice key card. No, it's not. I just ejected it into space. There are no aliens anymore. At least, so Ripley believes. Hmm. I think I go for the safe point first. Yeah, hello, Nevbite. I, I hope you're good. Uh, I hope you have an awesome afternoon, evening. What you been up to today? Are you week having a weekend already? I mean, it's Friday afternoon, so I'm pretty sure that you have, but... Any plans or something? Hoping Winston's good? Prepping that tea for you? My hosp- your hospital radio show coming back. Ooh, wh what's that? Like, your hospital literally has a radio show something of a sort? One thing I love about this control scheme in this game is that I already remember how to operate those things. I, I don't even wait for the prompts. I host a local show on local hospital radio station so Oh my god, that sounds awesome. And you have an amazing voice for that. That must be awesome. Ah, I'm such a shame I'm not in the UK. I would love to listen. Unless it's on the website, but I think it's a radio station dedicated to the hospital, obviously, so... But, yeah, we totally into that kind of stuff. I'm not sure what it's about, but, yeah, with your voice in it, it's already elevated to a level interesting. Uh-oh. <gasps> Fudge! Uh, no, no, no. You're gonna have to be fucking careful, you piece of shit. Oh. 
Don't tell me there's another one. Oh, golly. You wanna have some? Hammer time? Fine. <sighs> Fucking pieces of shit. Steam version's not stable in your machine. Oh, I didn't know. I mean, yeah, I did have some issues with the Steam version. Oh my god. Their blood kind of glitched into the game. <laughs> yeah, this is the PlayStation 4 version, but I've played a uh, PC version, although not, not on stream. And I do have the Nintendo Switch version. If you have a Nintendo Switch, I highly recommend that version because it looks better than the PS4. I know it sounds ridiculous, but the game has actually been optimized and it has the best picture quality. It has a bit longer loading screens though, so you have to have that in mind, but I think it's well worth it. Because the game looks amazing on Nintendo Switch. I know it sounds ridiculous, but this game originally came out on Xbox 360. And honestly, the Xbox 360 version was still uglier than the Nintendo Switch, so obviously it's only better. Um, y well, the thing is, the Xbox One and, um, at least Xbox One version has one problem, it has an input lag. It doesn't have that on PlayStation 4, I'm playing directly from PlayStation 4, I mean through capture card, but still, it's a PlayStation 4 version, so, um, but you, as you see those edges on objects that are far away, um, that are shiny, you know, there's nothing like that on Nintendo Switch. Everything is crisp, but it does not have those ridges. Anti-aliasing techni technology is different, so it looks a lot better. Um, so, yeah, uh, it looks a lot better. I'm not sure about the Game Pass version of the game. I do have it on Steam, and I haven't had any problems with playing it, but I have not streamed it, so I can't say if it's, if it's any different. Strangely, uh... I played it on the Pro Controller on my Nintendo Switch, also in stream, and I had some input lag as well, but that doesn't happen when I'm using the built-in controllers for Nintendo, so I don't know, maybe it's the problem with the Pro Controller. I think mine has has, uh, has had the boo-boo, and boo-boo uh, meaning it fell, because the left analog stick re responsible for movement has a weird feeling to it. Oh, that's weird. Shouldn't have that. Oh, goody. More things I can't collect because I'm all at full capacity of everything, I think. Full capacity, full capacity. I would love some batteries, though. Eh, so difficult to decide what's here to even worth looking into. I did complain about not having enough batteries, but of course I'm wasting the batteries. I had no idea that the game actually, actually has some issues on on streaming when you're streaming it for um for Twitch. I had no idea. But then again, I did not stream it from PC, so I have no point of reference. I mean, I tried, but I realized that my laptop is not very good at running games on the same CPU it's also streaming those from. And I'm having a gaming laptop which has two CPUs, so I don't think it's convenient enough. So... Yeah, that's one of the reasons why I decided to, like, yeah, I'm going to stream directly from consoles for the most part and just keep at it the way it is. Um, uh, but, yeah, laptop upgrade is definitely uh, in in line of things I need to... and of expenses that are happening at some time soon. Um, I could, like, use a secondary um, computer... I mean, I do have a secondary computer, but I, it's not reliable at the moment. And also, I'm not sure if I'm able to use it for streaming. I guess I'm not sure about its capacity to stream. But I could, like, use my sec a second laptop to stream through via capture cards from my gaming laptop. So it only takes care of the game without actually worrying about the streaming. But it would be a lot of fuss, to be honest. I don't think I'm, I'm up to it. 
No worries, Lance. It's been good having you here, and I appreciate the look, and I hope to see you soon. I might be raiding in about 20, 30 minutes, um, because I, I really need to, like, rest my voice. Uh, I've had some cough, and uh, I think I still need to, like, take it easy in terms of the, the voice department. So it's very likely I'll be raiding out in about, um, for, like, 30, 40 minutes, sometimes around that time. I'll just find a perfect spot near the save point and I'll save there, but that's fine. I really appreciate it that you came here. Do I hear humans? I heard humans. Yeah, always good to see you as well. Um... By the way, the Nintendo Switch version of Oh shit, these people are not friendly. Oh fuck. Hmm. You know what? I'm sorry. But fuck you. <gasps> you bitch. <gasps> there was more of them. Oh my god, you sons of bitches. Okay, that means war. This means war. Oh my god, that was rude. You unsavory little runt. You bastards. Oh. Okay, let's do this again. I don't remember humans being here. That's weird. Unexpected, really. Oh well, let's explore the room first and let's do the... Dealing with them humans later. Maybe I shouldn't use the flashbang because not everyone might be looking at it when I use it, but... Like, um, I don't know, maybe a smoke bomb? I have a lot of that stuff, so I haven't used it on the alien outside from the noisemaker. Don't worry, Fluff, I'm not dying. You know, my Fluff is adorable, but sometimes it's just so annoying that he, whenever I, I am too emotional on stream, he's like, oh my god, daddy's dying, I need to react now, and I'm like, Dude, chill. I'm fine. I'm just playing a game and I'm making an emotional response. Fluff, it's fine. But he's like, no, I don't believe you. You you, you were about to die. I need to react now. Silly goofball. I love him to death, but for fuck's sake, sometimes. Dogs are such a silly little sausages. My silly little sausage. Cute but silly little sausage. Right, there's nothing I can craft or allocate, so I'm just gonna pick up what I can and move forward. I think I'm gonna save again before I at at approach these people because might be safer to do that. Excuse me, excuse me. Okay, we're passing through. Yes, glorious save. Okay, let's take out these sons of bitches. If they really want to become my enemies, then fine. I didn't have a quarrel. I didn't want to have quarrel with them, but... Wait, what? What the hell? Are they like not there?
There's literally no one here. What in the name of... Everything that is nice and fluffy has transpired in this game. There's no one here. What the fuck? Uh, fuck? Still nothing. And my way out is here. Okay, that is random. That is random. I've never had that before. Like, literally, there was never a case that I saw them once. I restart, go to the same place, and there are no humans. I mean, I've never encountered them before, but this is new that this is totally random thing, that they are here or not. I've never seen this poster. Here at Sixen, we understand that science and technology need to work in harmony with society. There are many exciting discoveries and opportunities out on the horizon, but we believe that before we set off with the blue yonder into the blue yonder we should contentiate what content what i wish i had the zoom feature here concentrate on saving those problems closer solving those problems closer to home that's why zigzin over every new technology research project and discovery is concerned with hinting real-world applications to help families, small businesses, and local communities. We don't forget the little details when seeing the big picture. Don't want to show you a new world. We want to discover it with you. We hope you'll join us for the journey. Oh my god, such corporate bullshit. But I've never seen this poster before. Oh, that's what I want. I want a watch like this. I think Capcom is missing big time on merch opportunity. By the way, Samani, really? Saman Samantaji? Uh, Samani? Um, I want a watch like this. I totally need a watch like that. It's so fucking dope. And actually, it's the same model that Ellen Ripley was wearing on her the first film. I'm not sure about the other films, but they did it out of a Casio uh, type of watch. New Don Precision of Digital Watches. Well, yeah, monochromatic display will do it for you. Uh, <laughs> oh. Obsidian Stars? Thor's Ruin? What the hell is that? Out now. Oh, I can't read it properly. Uh, let me see. No? Okay, let's see this. Not too bright. I can't read it. Damn it! I need to look on a PC version because I think the PC version has better quality of textures. So, yeah, that's that. Oh, that was exciting. I thought I'm gonna have a fight with the ton tons of people and it turns out to be nothing. Kinda like disappointing, I have to say. It was kinda like me. We've killed you, but now we're not gonna give you a chance to revenge. Kinda rude. No thanks to Waits. <sighs> He's a ruthless son of a bitch. Always has been. Stubborn too. If he'd ever listened to me, things would never have gone this far. It's done now. I'm sorry for fucking up with the lockdown earlier. Forget it. You got me out in the end. I'll see you back at the bureau. Uh. Ooh. 
one thing because I just had an idea and I want to see one thing. Hmm. Interesting. I, I wanted to note, but I was thinking if I know the actor who actually plays Ricardo, because I absolutely love his accent. It's so beautifully British. Uh, but I thought he's a different actor than actually than he actually is. So um, I needed to Google that like immediately. Um, actually, before I go there, I need to. Yeah, yeah, bzz, bzz, electricity. Yeah, blah blah. blah. Wow, wow, wow. No worries, darling. I hope you uh, you have a good rest of your evening. And thank you for the look. You are streaming later, aren't you? Let me guess. Mass Effect 3. You haven't finished that one. Out of curiosity, are you ever going to be touching Andromeda? I know you've probably gone offline, but I'm just curious. I will ask you later on your stream, probably. Uh, yeah, yeah, I keep forgetting that when people say lurk, they probably are like moving away from the computer and I'm like asking questions like idiot. Oh, more revolver ammo. Well, that's always welcome. Hmm. Right, uh, I think I've seen everything I... Oh, wait, no. Ah, you see, I was gonna say... No, right. Wait, what's here? Sensor and scrap. Uh, this doesn't use sensors. This is already filled. Right, I can't craft anything, so I can't allocate more room, so I'm just going to lose all those trinkets. I hate limited inventory. Oh, someone made a statement on that poster here. Can't say I blame them. Company has left everyone to die here because, oh, we're decommissioning, so we're not going to send any rescue teams because we lost contact with the station. Fuck you. Fuck you, Sevastopol. I mean, my understanding is that the company's kind of, like, failing, so... I guess it's understandable. Okay, so we've saved, and I think it's a good point to actually save it for good, uh, for today. I'm just gonna put myself to a chatting screen, and gonna put some music in. And you can just chat for a while, um, if there's anyone to chat. Uh, the plan for, like, uh, the rest of the weekend is uh, tomorrow we will be doing Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Continuing the playthrough, we've started before the Christmas period. And uh, it's going to be around noon-ish my time. So, yeah, closer to when I started today. Might be around 1 p.m. if things go south. Things going south, I mean... Oh, I don't know. Cleaning, chores, groceries, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, so, yeah, between noon and 1 p.m. my time, I will start. And I'll try to go for at least four hours. So, that should be fun. Um no longer part of any celebrations. I know there is still an ongoing celebration stream for Shadow of the Tomb Raider with Crystal Dynamics, but I totally uh, didn't feel proper vibes on that, so like, whatever. Um, anyway, ever since they started celebrating the reboot, things have gone south, so uh, I, I'm not caring too much, to be absolutely frank with you. Um, either way, um, have to say this has been an amazing week uh, so far. Started a new job, 
Uh, the new job turn seems to be fine for now. I mean, there have been just pre preliminary trainings, some online stuff that I've been doing, these online trainings that you need, just need to get out of the way because uh, obviously uh, corporate blah blah blah. So it was obviously just just this formality stuff. Um. So yeah, basically it's a preliminary thing, and we're just getting into things. Um, looking forward to next week because we are starting some more job-oriented um, trainings that will tell us more or less about the systems. For our clients, um, how are we helping them with those systems? Um, so how 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 are we coping with dealing with those cases? Um, it's going to be interesting because I still have no idea how the system works. I'm very curious about it. Actually, I've tried to do some off the books research on the internet, but you know, there's very little they will tell you about the intricacies of the system if. The job is actually quite hidden away. I mean, it's all behind the scenes that would interest you normally. But I was just curious. Uh, if the job is actually interesting, uh, I tend to investigate what it's all about. All the companies down stands in the business. How are they looking in the branch they're doing? So I'm always trying to be a bit more uh, curious about those kinds of things because you never know when you will actually need that kind of knowledge you might not need it but it might actually come in handy you never know so I'm always like checking the opportunities trying to find the information because yeah it's always that chance that something interesting will be will be happening uh, and I'm looking forward to the next week um, just for the fact of my curiosity um, yeah, the weekend is chill. Uh, I'm probably going to take care of the pizza I still have here. Just looking at me from inside the box. I mean, it's not technically looking because it's still fresh from just a few hours ago. But, you know, it's nicely matured now. Um, I, love cool, I love cold pizza. If it's a good pizza, it's awesome when it's cold. It's awesome when it's hot. So I'm totally into that. So, yeah, it's going to be a chill evening. What else? Um, yeah, I've been thinking about actually doing a writing stream. I will see how next week unfolds, um, how intense is going to be the training. I mean, we do have some preliminary stuff on Monday, and Wednesday is going to be st stuff that's going to be more intense. Um not sure how and what's going to happen because we didn't get any plans for that so I'm all in the dark like everyone else in the team um, so it's gonna be interesting that's for sure um, but I'm looking forward to it for the first time in like almost two years I'm actually interested in what's going to be happening at my job and what are they going to try and teach me and show to me so I'm thinking um, I'm just thinking that it might actually be interesting no worries now bite I really appreciate you dropping in um, so you just tuned in probably a bit late uh, unless you were lurking which is totally fine I love lurkers. I love lurking on other people's streams, so sometimes I don't talk because I feel like I need to lie down and just have something buzzing in the background. And there are, and I am very particular what's buzzing in the background. It can't be just anything because most of the things like TV will absolutely irritate me. So I am watching people's streams in the background, and ever since I've discovered Twitch, it's my go-to place in terms of like having something in the background that's making me chill, vibe. So even if I'm not interacting, but I'm there, if you see my name, it's probably because something is there that actually makes me either focus or relax, uh, or a little bit of both. Um, especially when I'm trying to write. I don't usually have something with voice in the background, but so I, I recently discovered that um, some stuff actually is helpful to me. So, um, yeah, 
that's something I, I've recently started to explore. So yeah, seems like we are going to be raiding. Uh, we are going to be raiding our favorite uh, Lori uh, from the Gaming Mum Confesses channel. I think she's just launched, so I don't think there are any viewers now. But uh, this is her first stream of the year uh, because she's been a bit unwell. So it's not a Tomb Raider stream. I think she's going to be streaming The Sims 4. I'm not sure, but I, I probably am going to get into the obsession of Sims 4 because of that stream. So <laughs> there you go. Um, I'll, I I frequently have the, the thing that, oh, I, I'm watching someone playing a game that I haven't played in years, and I'm like, shit, now I want to play it. <laughs> I'm like, why? Why do I do this to myself? Why my brain does this to itself? Like, what the hell? But there you are. That's my brain, um, apparently. Wow, we've been live for three hours. I didn't expect this stream to actually last longer than one, two hours, maybe. And we've been r up to three hours and I'm punching through the game already. I think I'm past the middle part of it. I think it's like half of the game already behind me. So, wow, 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 it's it's punching through. Um, so, um, yeah, that's what's going to happen. We're going to be setting up ourselves a raid. Looking forward to what's going to happen uh, during the weekend on streams. Everyone is welcome to lurk, to chat, to view. Uh, if you can't, there's always my VODs. At least for the next, I don't know, 10 months, all of my VODs will be sitting in the... in at least for 60 days. I will try to upload all of my alien stuff into YouTube because that feels like a genuine playthrough series, so I think it might make sense to actually uh, do that so yeah uh, that's what we're gonna do um, and yeah thanks guys for chilling thanks for sitting through my um, pissing myself shitting browning myself although I'm trying to keep calm um, but you know sometimes the alien just gets the best of you But anyway, I'm talking, taking too much time before the raid, so I'm setting up the raid now and say hello to Lori, and I will see you hopefully during the weekend. And I'll be chilling and Lori's stream just as well for at least next hour before I need to take the popper. But yeah, uh, thanks again. I hope you have a great evening, afternoon. Uh, I hope you have a splendid weekend if we don't see each other. And just have a great time. Just stay safe and have a great time because, you know, we live in fucked up times and we need to take the best out of those times before we go cuckoo banana crackers, you know. So you, you have a great weekend and I'll see you very, very soon. Cheers. Bye bye. Patching commences in 15 seconds. Warning. Self-destruct sequence has been initiated. Warp core overload in 4 minutes 55 seconds. There will be no further audio warnings. Five, four, three, two. 